Hey, I'm Johnny Hobson. I'm from the band Future Crib, and this is a look into my creative process and how I've made music so far. And I look stoned all the time. I got started playing music with other people when I was in 8th grade and I was making some more friends and I joined the jazz band and I played bass and we eventually formed our own band called Naf Noise which was the band we had in high school and we started playing house shows at my parents house and at friends houses and got to know other bands that way and it just kind of became this really natural organic way of growing into a music community. I started recording in high school, I was 13 or 14, because I wanted a way to record our own music, the band's own music, and music that I would make on my own. So the first thing I bought was a Scarlett 2i2 Focusrite interface, and now we have this studio with a large format console and tape machines. Future Crib is a band I started my senior year of high school when NAF Noise was slowing down and everybody was kind of getting busier with school stuff. A lot of their time was taken up that way, so I had all this creative energy that I had to get out somehow and all these songs that fit together but didn't really go with what we had been doing so far. So I bought a tape machine and recorded the whole thing on my own in my basement. I think at this point when we want to go record an album. The people who write songs in the band are just constantly writing and over the course of six months we might have 20, 25 songs and maybe we've all been going through similar things or we're finding similar themes in the songs that would go well together on an album. So we spend some time like making playlists of the songs and sending them to each other and making different orders and stuff of the demos that we have to try to find the songs that fit best together and say what we want to say in a concise amount of time instead of having an album with 30 songs or just putting out one song at a time. So when we have those 10 songs, what has been really helpful to us recently is just picking a concise amount of time and saying this is when we're doing the record instead of being like, oh, just come over on the weekends and do what you can because then it never gets done. So that first Future Crib record was a record where I put a lot more of my own personality and things I wanted to express into it and it felt a lot more personal to me even though the songs and the lyrics are pretty simple. A lot of the things that I wrote for Naf Noise were more impressionable and the lyrics didn't necessarily make very much sense and I kind of wrote about random things but once I started writing songs that felt like they meant something to me it felt like something more sustainable that I could do for a longer time and create more of. So I think that's what made those songs feel pretty cohesive and what made that album go together at the time. I think for a long time the creative process to me when I was younger seemed more streamlined. Like okay I start writing a song on a guitar and once I have the whole song written on guitar I can add the drums, I can add the bass, I can add the keys or whatever. But since then it just gets really hard to have one defined process of creativity because there is none. So for me now I try to like begin the creative process with something that I'm super unfamiliar with. Like maybe I'll pick the instrument that I haven't played in months to start writing a song on because I'm the most unfamiliar with it and it puts me in this place where I don't fall into old habits and I don't just start doing the same stuff that I do every time I pick up a guitar or every time I sit down at the drum kit. So that way it makes every song a little unique and exciting to me and also makes everything feel more interesting and less like they just came from the same exact place. Maybe they end up in a similar place, but they weren't all written on a guitar. And recording is a huge part of the creative process for me. I've always, when I've written songs, just recorded all the parts into a demo myself because I get into this headspace where I can't really think about anything else. And I think a lot of people are that way too, where an idea is so exciting, you just want to see the final product now, and it's almost like being impatient, so I'll start recording without even having an idea, but sometimes I'll surprise myself and do something that ends up in the final version of the song, so it's 
kind of like putting this exciting pressure on the process. Future Crib for a long time was just me and a rotating cast, whoever, whoever would play. It would mostly just be friends that we had met from school or other bands or just knowing people from playing around. And then eventually it settled on these four people, me, Julia, and Bryce, and Noah Pope. And then eventually our friend George also joined. I think performing for me is a big way that I express myself and something that I definitely need. It's like taking the stuff that I've created and making it real. Performing it in front of people is the only way. And releasing music is kind of like performing in that way where it's not just yours anymore, it's everybody's and it can be anybody's. But I think taking those songs that we've made and playing them live in front of people is the best way for me to like find out exactly what they mean to me. Playing shows since I was a kid was really cool, and especially growing up in Nashville, doing it was really cool because the more we played and the more we got to know people around, the more of an awesome community just kind of came out of nowhere. I think the thing that I'm most motivated by is connecting with other people and from when we've gone on tours and gotten to play our music for people and have them come up to us and say maybe how important a certain song is or how much they enjoyed the performance. I think that is what keeps me going, which is why this year has been so hard because I haven't been able to do any of that at all. And when it's just me, it's really hard to find like a reason to keep doing it. So I'm looking forward to getting to express myself and also connect with other people who want to express themselves in the same way.